Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again. Welcome to the My Color Screen YouTube channel where you can find everything that you need to know about customizing your Android home screen. So today's video tutorial is on a complete guide to an amazing app. It's a very strong contender to UCCW and you can see why. It displays all the information that you need on your home screen very fast and very customizable. That app is Zupa Widget Pro or Zupa Widget. It's fantastic, so I'll be going through a complete guide to this starting from beginning, such as just adding a few widgets to, as, and presets, all the way into some advanced techniques, such as adding in task variables. So let us begin with the complete guide to Zupa Widget. So as you can see, there are quite a few possibilities of customization when it comes to Zupa Widget. So if you want to say how, many, how much Wi-Fi or data you've used, when the sun rises, when it sets, you can even have custom icons that change according to your time, as well as conditional variables, such as if your Wi-Fi is on or when it's off. So as you can see, it's very customizable. So let us begin with adding in a very simple widget. So starting off, you're gonna hold down on your home screen, select widgets, great, and from here, you wanna select Super Widget Pro or free if you have the free version. If you select it, it will give you quite a few options or widget sizes to choose from, but for now, I'm just gonna go for a four by one, nice and simple. Now it comes with a little box that'll open up here that'll say loading ZW. If it keeps on that loading screen, just reset your phone and it should be working. Occasionally happens to me. So what you wanna do is just Tap the, the widget and it'll bring up the Zupa widget presets that have already been built in. How cool is that? There are quite a few to choose from. So if you don't have, don't have any good ideas, just choose one of these and then customize it. Real easy, real simple. If you scroll across here, these are your built-in ones that you've saved. It's real nice and easy. Now you can see what each of these look like on the home screen. I really like this about Zupa widget. So, if you're also going to start off with a blank one, scroll to the top and select empty. This gives you a fresh canvas. As you can see, it's got your background. So when you start adding in elements or modules, you can see what it's going to be looking like. That's real cool about Zupa Widget. So starting at the top, you've got your open, which will just open up those pre-built in presets that I showed earlier, as well as your SD card ones that you've saved. And then the save one over here. This is if you want to save it as a template and it'll appear on those ones when you want to add it again. And then obviously that's just some hub file to get you going. Now you start off with your widget settings, which is pretty much everything you need to know about customizing this widget here will be found in this area. So we're going to be starting off with our layout, going into the layout. Now, as you can see, there's nothing being added, but as soon as you start populating the widget with different modules, it's going to appear over here. And this is where you want to come to add in different or remove them. So say if I just want to add in a simple text, the time, and I go back, now it's been added here. It says what it is and what it'll be displaying. If you want to delete it, just need to hold down on it and then select delete. But you can also select the tick here and it'll come up with the same option. So you can edit it, even copy it and paste it. But to delete it, you just need to select the, the bin there and it disappears. So selecting the plus again now, you can add in a module. That's what they call different elements or objects. And as you can see, there are quite a few different options to go into. You have your text, your rich text, your rectangles, series, and different icon sets, as well as the final one, which is the greatest thing about the latest updates of Zupa Widget, is that now you can add in any images that you wish that you have in your gallery. How cool is that? So we're just gonna be starting off with our text now. The differences between text and rich text. Rich text just comes with a few more added options, such as adding a number of lines that you want, so say if you wanted to rap, if you say if you have a song name playing, it can then rap to the bottom line, which comes in real handy. But for now, we'll be sticking with simple text. Now the first option here, as you can see, we're getting into quite a few options, which is great about Super Widget. There's so much customization that you can do. So with, with positioning, as you can see, you can't move it around, like say use, use CCW, which you get used to after a while, as changing these isn't too hard, and you can get real precise positions just changing it like that so it's not too much to worry about scrolling down we have our widget on tap action same as a hotspot mode in uccw where if you select module on tap as you can see you've got quite a few options to choose from you either have your default one such as forcing an update your alarm setup or your configuration that's like going into this editor again but you can also open up any app that you would want or activities as well i'm just going to leave it to edit, open up the editor for now but scrolling down now, we have all of our text options that we can edit, well, edit the text with. So if you go into text content, 
This is great if you run, about, run out of ideas or you just want to add in something very quick and Super Widget is real great at adding in samples. So say if you want to add in your time, such as you, you want to have it AM, PM short clock, it'll change it like that. If you want to add in a time again, such as time to midnight if you want it even, it'll bring it up for you like that. And you can change it again easily just by going into your text content. And now just look at all these different options that you can choose from. And opening up these gives you a whole bunch of options as well. Going into system, you can see how much data you've got. You can see how much free space you have in your memory. The list goes on. Even astronomy, you can have your sunrise and sunset. Not even my local weather station has this kind of stuff. So Zupa Widget is the ideal app if you want to have some cool customization features. But what's cool about this as well is that now if you go back, say if you don't want to add in, you don't want to have this exact content, you can go into edit text manually. So now what this allows you to change every one of these different variables. So you can still add in more if you want, such as if you want to say add in some text before here, you just need to select it. Then add in say the or whatever else you wanted like that. And then go down and then select the tick and then it'll save it like that. You can go back into edit text manually. To add in more stuff, say the date, obviously you'd have to have a bit, a bit of a bigger widget to display this or just make the font size smaller. Next, if you go into text conversion mode, how cool is this? It gives you t different types of conversions to add it. So if you want to have numbers to text or have uppercase or lowercase text, this option here does it for you. Next, if you move on to font, now this is where you can add, like say make the font bigger or smaller. Or if you want to change the colors, whole range of colors like that, you can do it from here. What's also cool and what's really awesome about Zupa Widget is that if you go into text font family, it comes in with all your fonts that you can choose from and you can see what they're going to look like. What's also cool is that, say if you don't have all these fonts, remember it's saved in the same folder as the UCCW fonts, which is in your SD card forward slash fonts. If you don't have the folder, you can just create it. But what's also awesome about Zupa Widget is that it really comes with built-in fonts, so you don't have to worry about looking for some awesome fonts. They already give some for you. Next you have your text alignment for the left, center and right. And now beneath that you can transform this text. Say if you want to change the scale, you want to change the, the, the rotation, the curve. What's also cool about drawing mode is if you go into it, it has the option to be clear. So if you have something behind this, say just a, a, a gray rectangle, then it'll be see-through through there. It's a really cool effect to have. I'm just going to leave it normal for now. And then finally you can add in blurring effects or shadow as well. So I'm just going to leave that standard for now and then go back. As you can see, it tells you that it's a text module and what the te text is exactly saying. So say for example, you wanted to add in an icon, say a bitmap icon set. If you scroll down here, as you can see, the options change a bit somewhat. It now says bitmap icon set. So if you select the icon set, it gives you a whole range of different icon sets to choose from. How cool is that? So if you wanted to say the Sense 5 weather, you select it. The transform tools change as well. So now you can make it smaller and as you can see there are a lot less options here but that's okay because now you can just say move this to the side and there it is positioned. So if you go back now as you can see two modules have now been added and if you'd like to switch the two around say if you want one to overlap the other very easy to do look at that just move the two up and down and it'll do it real time over here. So say if I just like these two for now if I just go back now and now comes up a few more options to choose from in our main option menu here. The first one is our widget background. Selecting that will allow you to change the background of the widget. I always like to make it fully transparent as that looks pretty cool. So there's gonna be no background whatsoever there. Like before you've got your widget on tap action. So say if you wanna to jump to your weather when selecting the entire widget, this will do that. Next is your location. So you can always have an automatic location or manual one, whichever one you prefer. Next is your widget name, which is quite important as if you're looking for it, once again, if you go back into Zupa widget, you want to know what it's called. So say if I just want to say, uh, call it midnight, and then select OK. Now I'll know it's what, what it's going to be called if I go back into it. Finally, you have your global preferences. So these options say if you want to use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit, or your refresh interval, so if you want to save some battery. And it also has a few more extra options here that you can play around with, such as an alternative geocoder, which is which would probably enable if your online services aren't working to find your city. So that's enough for these global preferences. If we just go back, you can also have your calendars. You can choose specific ones. I think that's a real cool option. As well as your force update to immediately force update to see what it's gonna be changing. So now you like it the way you want it. 
All you have to do now is select back and it brings it up for you just like this. Now say you want to edit this and you've already selected say it, say for example I've set this music one here to open up my music but now I want to change that. So now all I have to do now is go into my super widget, configure widgets and now it comes up with widgets that you've already added. So say now playing I want to change that. Say if I want to make the icons or the, the font bigger or smaller, I'll just go into layout now and I can edit anything that I'd want here. So now obviously you want to do something cool that certain other information apps or widget cannot do, which is conditional formatting. Yes, that's right. So now if I say I want my Wi-Fi on like Donkey Kong, then I just say turn on my Wi-Fi. And once it turns on, it connects. And as you can see, Zuper Widget straight away connects and sees that it's a conditional format which I think is really cool. So say, how would you want to do this? So this is the one that I previously created. All you'd have to do now is go into your layout. I created a rich text just so it can wrap around nicely. And if we go now into edit text manually, as you can see, I added in my own conditional formatting. It might look a bit confusing, but it's very simple to understand. What it means is that if my Wi-Fi is on and it connects, it'll say Wi-Fi is on like Donkey Kong. However, if it's off, it'll say Wi-Fi is off and get to work. So that's what's really cool about conditional formatting. If you go here, it's, you've got your conditionals here and there's quite a few to choose from and they're quite easily explained. And the one great thing about Super Widget Pro or the Super Widget is that it's very fast and changes to the apps almost instantaneously. What's great is that it also enables Tasker support and I almost prefer this to UCCW in that the Tasker, well, the, when it reacts to Tasker, it's a lot, lot quicker than UCCW. It changes almost instantly. So one thing to take note of, if you want to have some cool Tasker variables working, and you want to do them very quickly. This now playing one that I've used in Super Widget is just a simple Tasker variable to say my now playing whatever my music is. So when it changes, it'll change like that. And that's pretty much it. That is our complete guide to Super Widget. I definitely think it's going to become one of the most popular info widgets on the market. So you definitely want to go and check it out. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen YouTube channel. As well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Thank you very much guys. This is Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.